So at this point, I would like to introduce you to the next concept in AnyScript programming, and that is a class. Now, a class in AnyBody is just a template for creating a model components. So these could be segments or joints or even visualization objects such as arrows or annotations and so on. Now, classes in AnyBody sort of they follow a hierarchical structure, which means that you have more complex classes that are based on the templates of a simpler class. So the child class inherits the, the template of the parent. And in addition to that, it also has its own special functionalities. And so this results in some sort of a, a very large family tree of classes. And so there is one class at the very top of this family tree, which is the most fundamental class in anybody. And this is the any folder, which is a class that is used to just organize data uh, inside your model. So let us go back to the anybody uh, or the, the any script window and let us create an object of this class. So we do this by first typing in the class name and then uh, the name that we want to give this particular object, which I will just call model. And then just like we did with the main file, we're going to have an equal to an open curly brace, a closed curly brace and a semicolon. And just like we did for the main file, again, I'm going to spread out these uh, curly braces over a few lines. So now we actually have a very, very basic model and which can now be loaded. So for loading the model, you could use this button on the toolbar on the top or alternatively, you could use the F7 key. So if I load the model, uh, I would now like to describe the layout of the GUI a little bit because now it now is when it gets uh, quite relevant. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you see the message window, which ends with the message that says that the model was loaded successfully. And this is always great news. And another sign that your model has been loaded is actually on the left of your screen over here. So if you look at this tall, narrow section, you see multiple tabs that are named uh, model operations projects and so on. And you can see that there is a folder that has appeared in the operations tab. Now I'm going to switch out of the operations tab into the model tab. And over here, you can see some sort of a tree like structure, which shows two files or folders uh, named main and model with model appearing within main. And this, of course, is just a reflection of what you see in the any script file, what we wrote into the any script file. So essentially, the model tree that you see on the left of your screen is just just exactly mirrors what you type into your uh, any script window. And you can also see that the any folder object that we created of the name model uh, has also appeared in your model tree as a folder. With that basic introduction to classes in anybody, we will next start adding actual physical model components such as uh, global reference frames and segments and so on in the forthcoming sections.